Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, we're going to talk science, bitch. Science, bitch. Science is proving you don't work hard enough. Maybe me too. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, science, bitch. All the WW, fake WWE antics aside, um, I'm going to drop a couple studies below and we need to take these seriously. What science has told us, or what science is telling us, is basically something that I've been trying to get across to you guys all along, that you're not working hard enough. That I've mentioned this many times where I've worked with people in person, they think they're working hard, but they always have a few extra reps going on or a little bit more weight that they can do. They can always do a little bit more. So to break down the science in very simple terms, they looked at the perceived effort of a set. And they found that when somebody thought they were basically running into their limit, they had a couple more reps left in the tank. Let me repeat that because this is the crux of the issue. When people were told to push a set to the limit, and you know, you know me, I tell you to push a set for as many quality reps as possible, stopping that set when you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep or when your form goes to hell, right? So if you give people a standard of how hard to push and you tell them push until you get to that standard, usually what's happening scientifically is they're actually stopping two reps short of that. So if you tell somebody to train until the point where they think they're going to fail on the next rep, they're going to leave two reps in the tank. If you tell... If you tell people to go as hard as they can and get the most out of a set as possible, they're leaving a couple reps in the tank. So the problem is, if you get to the point where you're running my program and I tell you to train until you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep, you, you might be stopping three, four, three, four a rep short of actually where true failure is and you're not getting hardly anything. You're not, you're not getting nearly as much out of that set as you could. Therein lies the problem and it's a big key as to why a lot of people aren't making progress. They think they're pushing a set hard, but actually they're leaving the hardest two reps or the last two reps, they're leaving those on the table and those are the two reps that are actually going to get you the most out of a set. So one of the reasons why I have come up with the standard that I did is to try to get people to push further, right? We're, we're, my world is a plus one world, right? So we're not just trying to push rep sets for as many reps as possible. You can do that, but scientifically, you're probably going to leave a couple reps in the table. But I, I, put a, I put that little end cap on there. Stopping a set when you feel like you're going to fail on the next rep or when your form starts to break down. So obviously, we want to stop a set when our form is breaking down because we, we want to be safe. But how do you judge if you're going to, if you're going to uh, you know, fail on the next rep or one, one way is bar speed, okay? If your bar speed slows dramatically or noticeably on a lift, that probably means you're gonna fail on the next rep. Bench press in specific, uh, barbell rows is a good exercise, a good example of this. When you feel that rep where my speed's gone and I'm kinda having to force it to, to lock up, that's basically the end of a set. But if you're not, if you're not focused on that, then how far you're taking a set is going to be a little bit arbitrary. Now, we need to understand on a lot of lifts, you can take them hard without punishment. You can take them further without punishing your body or increasing risk of injury. So on those, those are really exercises where you need to gird up your big juicy testicles, gird up your big juicy testicles and push a little bit harder. All this stuff aside, right? All the science, bitch, aside, I focus on plus ones. Trying to get a plus one over your last workout because that can sometimes be a little bit of an equalizer. Uh, it can kind of bridge the gap between how hard you should be pushing, how hard you think you push. Because if you're not hitting plus ones, there's a good chance that you fall into this category 
that that science found isn't pushing hard enough. So I made a challenge last week, a million dollar challenge. How many more reps can you get than last time? But this is really the same thing. And this is one of the big reasons that is holding so many people back. And you probably think you don't fit into this category, but you do fit into this category. You do. Trust me, you do. All of us do. All of us do to a certain degree. When you hit the gym, if you want to increase your results, you need to, you need to go into the gym and remember this, this science. And again, links down below that we're leaving a couple reps in the tank. We're, we're two reps less than we think we are as far as the intensity and effort of a set. You go into the gym equipped with this, and then you go make it happen. Go see what you can do today. Now, there are certain lifts like squats and deadlifts I do not want you to kill yourself on because the reward isn't worth the risk. You do as many quality reps as you can and get out. When the body allows you to get an extra rep in and you know you can do it safely, get it. On the other hand, don't be a pussy and leave reps in the tank. So, science bitch is telling us, science, the bitch that is science is telling us, on the average, you're leaving two reps in the tank on your sets. That's a big difference between a mediocre set and a quality muscle building set. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.